All right, what you see here is my Hunter Infinity ceiling fan from either February of 1995 or the second quarter of 1995. I got this back in November of 2015 with Randy Johnson. We, me and him, um, well, I found this. I, found, I don't know who found it first, but um, I think it was me. Um, I found this on a local Craigslist listing. There was two inf Hunter Infinities. This is one of them. And Brandon got the other one. And there were two coat up stratosphere. That his was a, st a stratosphere four. In mine, I'm not sure what it is, but it's, it's the one that doesn't have a light on it. So um, yeah, he's getting rid of the coat up because um, the where the motor it goes up, like the the motor's a bit bent. Um, it's kind of hard to explain. But um, yeah. But um, yeah. When we first got these fans, um, if you watched my video of like when we were at, we were at, I got I did like a very quick video of. When me and Brandon were at the house, he was removing the one that he got, and there was one on the floor. This is the exact one that was on the floor, and, and this is the white that was on it. What happened was, um, <clears throat> originally Brandon wanted the white because he likes fans of his white, since he can, he feels like he feels like a fan's complete when it has a white on it, and I, I do agree. It depends on the location though. And um, yeah, I asked him if I can have it back. Like, well, he was gonna sell it to me, but then he changed his mind since. Plus, he didn't, he didn't really show his, his um, style from what he told me. So, um, yeah. But I am glad I had the fan exactly how it was when I when when I first got it, though. So, um, yeah. And I will post a video link of the original video of this, I did of the fan without the light. And the video that Brandon C. Johnson did when he, when, when he recorded his Hunter Infinity. So, um, yeah. Now the one that he has is actually two years older than this one, even though they were they were probably installed around the same time, but one of them was just a bit older, or maybe just manufactured a bit earlier. That's just my guess. Um, yeah, these are Hunter Infinities are definitely one of my top five favorite fans. To be honest, um, they're just huge childhood fans. So um, yeah, this is not the ideal light I'd put on it. I I would definitely put a um, spotlight kit on it. I just feel like that looks best on these fans. That's just me, but um, it just gives it like a contemporary look on it, like a very simple, and it, it just gives it a unique look of the um, especially with the design that this fan has. So yeah. Now when Brandon got it, the chain on this fan was stuck, and I have it inside of the um, glass a little bit. I got it, I pushed it in a little bit, so um, yeah, that's not going anywhere. Now the blade arm, or well, the blades. A lot of the um, rubber grommets on the blade are, that are inside the blades are a bit worn out, so that's why they're not, they're a bit loose. I tightened them completely, but they are, some of them are just like, are a bit loose. It's not the blade arms, it's just the um, rubber grommets in these blades are starting to, are like very worn out. But um, yeah, it's not a big deal, it's not, the fan doesn't really wobble, especially that, since it's flush mounted and also I'm floor testing it, but um, yeah. You know, I did say in a previous video that if I was to replace the, um, Passport 2 in my bedroom someday, that I'd put the Passport 3 up and said, more likely I actually changed my mind, I, I prefer this one. This more of a childhood fan, but, um, I would use the same white kit that's on the Passport 2 and put it on this. And, um, yeah. I really don't see that happening anytime soon. Like, I don't know, I, I definitely do, I just kind of like to have it in the collection just to have, you know what I mean, guys? If, I don't know, but I really do like the fan, but, um, I would install it somewhere, but I just don't know where. I already have the Passport 2 going up. Hopefully this weekend it'll go up. The one that's going in the dining room, right, grass one. Or maybe the Monday or Tuesday. Today's on Friday, April 22nd. And, um, yeah. So, um, yeah. It, this fan I got with Branson Johnson for free. So, even though it's, the blades are a bit yellow, and I can't really get that off it, off it since they're gloss. But, um, yeah, the fan does need a little bit more cleaning up, but I really did, it's kind of a bit yellowed in some areas, I can't really get it off, but, um, yeah, because this fan was actually installed in a kitchen, but, um, it, yeah, it was a lot more yellowed when I first got it, especially the blade arms, the blade arms are, have some spots, like, they're still a bit yellowed, but, um, I just haven't cleaned them off, but I just have it cleaned off to the point that it's more presentable, so, um, yeah. <clears throat> So let me go ahead and show the light working. And also, um, Brandon told me when he tested it after he tested it, um, 
he found out that well, what we did originally was um, we actually sw swapped the switch housings. So this is actually the switch housing from the other Infinity, and he has the one that's from this one, since he wanted the way. So um, what he found out was um, this way it was actually only being held onto the switch housing with nails, and I find that pretty bizarre because for this fan being up for over twenty years at least, and if the you know, white kit never fell down, I mean, look, it's pretty loose, and it's not, and that's the other reason why, um. If I was to install it, that, that's the only reason why I wouldn't use this light on it. I this could work on the um, password too, which but I just feel like the spotlight get on it a lot more. But um, yeah, maybe just go ahead and show the way. As you can see, it does work. And I'm using two, and it uses two light bulbs. I am in the process of getting a um, another spotlight kit, my Hunter, a white one, just for. I just want to have one to use when I'm testing fans, so I, I do want to do a video of, of this fan with a um white hunt a spotlight kit on it, and there's a few other ones. Um, I don't know. I just and also the one in my bedroom. Some of them are a bit loose, like one of them is very loose. And um, just so um I can use that one for testing instead. But um, yeah. And also I can just put that one back on the um low profile too because. Since I'm getting more fans, I there are a couple of them that are Hunter, I will review that. Um, but I do need to um, get some more Hunter Switch Caps, the white ones. Like the ones that the Password 2, Low Profile 1 and 2 use and stuff like that. So um, yeah, I do have a couple, I have two brass ones, I was thinking about painting one of them white. But I, don't, I really don't feel like doing that since they don't really make them no more, so um, yeah. So let me go ahead and shut up the light, oh well, 7 minutes in the video already, sorry about that. Let me go ahead and start off the fan on low. It's much e it was much easier to pull the speed chain on this fan without the weight in the way. But um, yeah, this way I really do think it looks pretty good on this fan. I want to say it's the best weight. Doubt. I want I like I want to say this is um the way I prefer on this fan out of all of them, but I mean if I didn't have it, if they didn't make it, the um spotlight kit, I probably would choose this as like a second. Now there are like white kits that they made like the ones that are similar to like the Hampton Bay Saint Clair like Victorian Star ones. I think those look pretty good on these type of fans, kind of like the one that the Russian Fazbear did on his old channel when he started in his bedroom a while ago. But, um, yeah. Kind of like those, um, fancy, like, those classy looking lights. I feel like those look pretty good on these fans, actually. Tommy Bond and, um, if, aka Sammy Fan Page, um, if you're watching this, basically the one that you have on your, um, Homestead Universal in the kitchen, that new light you put on it, something like that, I think, will, looks good on these fans. If it's the right finish, that is. Yeah, one of the blades, it looks like it's out of clock, but it's actually just um, the grommet. That's out of, that's that's the blade that has um, the, the loose. I am, I like swimming by hand before I started the video to see if it was actually the blade arm or if it was just a, um, if that was just the blade having a very worn out grommet and it's actually the grommet being very worn out. Yeah, it was it was so hard today. I was um I had I had to get the um when I was putting this together I had the um low profile on high, and I had to get one. I'm probably gonna have to use um the password two on high all night, and also probably get some, one of my stand fans, probably the Galaxy, just put it on the table in the corner and just have that um because it's just so hot today. It might cool down later on tonight, hopefully, but uh <sighs> yeah, it's, it was attempting to put the AC in, but I don't. But I know it's supposed to be getting cool, cooler later on. Yeah, it does have a nice little speed. I really do like the light on this fan, though it does give it more of a 90s 
and how it gives it more of a 90s look to it. That's just my opinion. All right, let me go ahead and show it to white while it's on low before I move it up to medium. Yeah, this, yeah. When Brandon C. Johnson recorded um the video of his infinity, not the the black one, the white one that he got with me. Um, this is like one of his best videos. Um, so yeah, check out his channel. He has pretty good videos. I don't know if I could put a school cut school on this. I, yeah, some, this is probably like one of the fans I feel like it wouldn't look bad on it, but it wouldn't look like a perfect match on it. Hold on, yeah. All right, let me go ahead and shop to white and move the fan up to medium. Just give me a second. I'm just trying to be sure that the mic he doesn't go flying off. Oh, and also, um, the, the portrait is not taped, but I might have to do what's in the house. Petite's portrait wrapped around inside the, of the, um... I'll show it once I shut it off, so I have it wrapped around that so the poultry you want to get caught on the blade arms. Alright, now for medium. Yeah, I have, I have been meaning to do this video for a while now, I've been doing it because I've been busy with college with semesters, very close being over, I have like another week or two, and then I'm out. So, um, yeah, there'll be a lot more fan videos coming up before I go to the Dominican Republic again this summer. Yes, I know I do it, but I just want to spend as much time with my grandparents while they're still alive, because I don't want to regret not going one time and didn't, they pass away, so, um, yeah. And also, I find out more about different fans down there. That they don't have up here, and so I can show them to you guys. Like the Sanyo that I got down there, that one, that was pretty interesting. And the Universal. This summer, I'm really gonna fix up those fans down there. Like, Katie came in my bedroom down there, I'm gonna re repaint it one last time. I only painted it like that with the um, paintbrush just to see how I like the color on it. I like it, but I found a uh, Resto Limium. It's kind of like the Colonial, the, the Katie Kid that's that I painted like a Colonial white finish. I found a spray can of it, of Russell Wimium, appliance epoxy, um, I'm gonna use that on it. I just wanted to like test it to see how I, I like to cut it on it first. And um, yeah, the, I'm gonna try to get the other Kitty K, the sp one that has no Donald on it, the one I was gonna give to Mark Wilker, um, I just need to find Donald on it, and some canopies, covers, and just, I'm gonna put it outside. It's in like a clothes off here, kind of like, a porch, just, but it won't rust up that bad. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, I do feel a pretty good breeze from the fan over here. And um, yeah. Now there are two more fans that I actually have on me right now that I'm, I need to do videos of. Um, one of them I 
used to be, I did a video of it almost two years ago now, well close to, it's been a year and a half since I last recorded it running, but um, another one is one that I haven't recorded at all yet, but I found the missing parts to it, so, and now I just need to get a new pool chain for it, so I'm gonna probably, I might get it tomorrow, a new pool chain, but I don't know, I might wait until later on next week to do it, but um, it depends how much time I have. <sighs> All right, let me go ahead and show it to white while it's on medium. All right, let me go ahead and shut off the white and move the fan up to high. There we go. <clears throat> This is definitely one of my fastest fans and it's still go a bit faster than some of my other hunter fans that I've tested. Yeah, it actually might be a bit faster than the um Passport 2. I don't but it's kind of hard to tell without seeing them running side by side to each other. Especially the funny thing is they both use the same motor, but um both this and the other infinity, the bright bright brass one that I got from my Wilson, and they both run very quickly so yeah i feel like they probably do go a bit faster than the um password twos that i have but um yeah i need to like test them side by side just to actually determine make it like to actually be sure about it Yeah, it's definitely good air move. I feel a great amount of air from it over here. And it's moving the pole chains on the low profile quite a bit, actually. And not so many of my fans that I forecast actually do that. Yep, it's definitely a pretty fast fan. It moves a great amount of air too.
Alright, I'm going to bring it in closer so you guys hear the air movement. Also, the, those screws that are holding this switch are in place are actually from the um, Hunter right at home that I have. These are the same screws I use on the um, bright brass infinity when I tested it as well. Show of the light while it's on high. You know, this, this light actually wouldn't be a bad one to put on my. Password too. I actually might consider doing it one of these days because I do like the wedding in my room to be a, more dim. So um yeah, I, I probably will put the um spotlight kit back quickly, but I might just do it just to try it out just to see how I like it. I'll definitely make another video of it for that exact reason. But um yeah, guys, if you think that would be a good idea, um, let me know and I'll try it out. I don't think it will look as good on the fan as the spotlight hit will it does, but um it's always good to try it out just to see how it looks on it. Had previously stolen all the fans from from it, so it really did make the day a lot better. <laughs> it's an awesome day, a great haul. Got the galaxy table fan that Mark found, the code of sound sphere, and the anti grass low profile, too. 52 inch that is. Um, oh, yeah, but this is definitely my favorite one. This and the galaxy were my favorite find, finds of that day. So, I'm here, my shut off the way. And shut off the fan. Medium, low, off. And let's go ahead and do a spin now. Yeah, I was wait earlier this week. I was checking all the fans I've recorded this year compared to last year, and like around the amount of fans I've recorded right now is like around the area. It's like a bit over halfway or half the amount of fans I've already recorded last year. Well, video wise, like the amount of four, fans that I four tested and the amount of videos from like some of them I do password two had like four videos in total. Right at home had two videos in total. Willowton had three videos in total. Um, yeah, it's definitely have already recorded a good amount, of, close to a bit over half of what I recorded last year. Maybe not at over half, but it's around half of what I already recorded last year. I'm definitely, I'm gonna, I'm definitely going to like record a lot more fans this year for testing them. But um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna. 
Now that the weather is getting nicer, I'm definitely going to be able to record some of the other fans that I've recorded in previous years. That um, I haven't been able to do remix of because I was a much busier last year towards the end of the summer. Especially during the summer classes at college and um, yeah. Now that I have almost two months off before I go to DR, I'll definitely be able to get a great good amount of videos of the fans up here before I head down there. So um, yeah, there'll be a lot of great hits remix of some fans from the past that you guys have loved. So um, yeah. And the fans come to a complete stop, so that'll be the end of this video. And before I end it, um, I did say earlier that would show. So um, yeah, the um, portrait. It's kind of hard to see from down here, but it's wrapped around like a basically wrapped around the whole thing. So yeah, and I think I showed them the other side. This side, the um, this for those who like to see the top of the motor. Well, in this case, the bottom part of it. So, um, yeah. That will be the end of this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos to come.